Hey everyone, welcome to my channel where we're doing music covers, original music, song reviews, album reviews, um, some politics and social commentary here and there, whatever the day calls for. I have some original music at robcarry.bandcamp.com as well as on here. If you like what you see here, please subscribe to the channel. If you got content on here, I'll definitely subscribe to you also. I'm all about supporting up and comers on here. Today's song review is going to be from a band I'm not familiar with at all. They're called Undeath which is either the most death metal or least death metal band name ever, depending on how you look at it. Um, they released a new song a couple days ago, and it's been a long time since I fucked with some traditional death metal, which is what they are tagged as, and, what, and they seem to be very well liked. So I figured, since they got a new album approaching, let's see if there's a new band for me to get into here. Um, the song is called Head Splattered in Seven Ways. It sounds like there may be some fun and humor possibly splattered into the brutality here, so... Um, yeah, I'm all in. The video has a warning of gory content as well. That always adds to the fun, too. I just hope none of it is the slaughterhouse stuff that some of these bands do. Um, animals getting hurt. I, I don't want to see that. I hate that stuff. But anyway, this looks to be a fun and brutal time, so let's get into it. This is a very well-written death metal song. Um, I knew going into this that we weren't getting state-of-the-art production um, or anything, but state-of-the-art production wouldn't work here. But there are some great guitar riffs here, and I wish you could hear it more in the mix. Um, as far as the video, I can't imagine anyone needing a warning for this. Perhaps I've just seen too much of this sort of thing, but I just found myself chuckling at the cheesiness of it as opposed to finding anything scary. Um, when the butcher was slicing somebody open, it kind of made me want a bacon cheeseburger. It, it looks like bacon. But it's all in good fun, though. I, I'm not hating. If anything, I'm poking more fun at anyone who would be offended or traumatized by this video. Um, the vocalist sticks to gutturals, but he does them well. All of the vocal patterns he chooses to do are 100% what the song calls for. Um, there's a couple moments that the bassist gets to shine, and I, I like that a lot. I focused on the drumming the most. The main hook of the song, if I dare call it that, is great. Um, it has that sporadic timing that reminds you of the best of the Cannibal Corpse stuff. It's pretty heavy, but you got to turn it up a bit to get the full effect due to the production. Um, this is not a genre I go to much anymore, so the fact that I've listened to this ten times already shows how much they stand out from the pack in terms of memorable songwriting and just doing 100% what a song calls for. And um, I was hoping to hear some highs or mids from the vocalist. And I really wish you could hear the guitar more. But this is a top tier death metal song. And I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed this and I never got bored. And I listened to it repeatedly before making this review. Um, this is uh, definitely the blueprint for uh, traditional death metal done right. And that's coming from someone who hasn't really listened to this genre in a while. Um, if I were to give any criticisms, really, it's just uh, turn the guitar up more in the mix because the riffs are great on this. The timing is great on this. Um, and that's actually one of the highlights of the song that might get drowned out to someone outside of the metal genre who doesn't know to just kind of like focus on that kind of thing. But yeah, if they have another song that they release before the album comes out in April I believe it is I'll definitely check it out absolutely well I hope you enjoyed this review all of this is just my opinion and I honestly don't know shit about this band but this was a great introduction to them like I said anything else they put out before this album's release in April I'll definitely check it out and when the album itself comes out I'm definitely gonna check that out too and if you know if it becomes something on my rotation I'll definitely give it a review as well so that's my review, 8.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching.